Okay. All right, this is going to be the uh, end of our public speaking. Uh, we have about uh, five or six uh, students going through this. The rules are uh, three to five minutes, uh, subject of your choice, or how you will improve the school. We'll have constructive criticism in the end. This is all going to be run by our uh, flight first sergeant, Cadet Lucinic, and we will uh, be cranking through this with constructive criticism to get to the end and receiving constructive criticism. And click Cadet Lucinic, you need to run the show professionally, okay? Thank you. All right, y'all are on. I'm good. Yeah, you're good. Start talking. Okay, I'm Cadet Ewell. Um, if I could change one thing about this school, I would change our school schedule. I would um, shorten our days, but make less breaks. I would have A days, B days, and C days. A days, you could go one to three, um, like first to third hour, and then lunch will be at the end. We're not going to count lunch as an hour. And then B days, you go four, fourth hour through sixth hour, and then lunch should still be at the end. The, you would end around one like you would on Wednesdays. And um, on C days, that would be quiz days. So you go and take all your quizzes on Fridays, and then A days and B days, and they would switch off every day. So like Monday would be A, and then it'd go B, A, B, C. I feel like um, this would help be easier on the students and um, and then I don't have to really feel all stressed out at the end of the day. They're not all tired. They can go home, take a little break, have a little more time to study, and prepare for the tests. I would extend the classes a little longer so then the teachers can teach more throughout the hour, and then there'd be less homework time because you're going to be at home more. Um, summer would probably only be one month, and we wouldn't have fall break or uh, spring break because I don't really feel like we need those when we could just go through the year really fast. Um, the, the test could be a lot longer, maybe, or um, if the teacher doesn't have a test for that week, it could just be a free day to relax. Uh, I feel like it would be a lot easier on the students because they don't have to go for very long out in the, um, the school days. I think that if we extended the, um, the days throughout the year that we go to school, we might have a better education because, well, America's education isn't the best and we need to improve on that or another. Well, in conclusion, I feel that the method would be easier on the students and they would be a lot less stressed with knowing they only have to go for three classes a day. That's Hetherington. Hetherington. Cadet Buell, I think you had some pretty good ideas, I, I would say. Uh, I don't feel like you believed in what you were saying. And I uh, also think that you needed to have more points of why we should do it more than what it would be like. Thank you, Cadet Hetherington. I will take that in consideration next time. That we... Cadet Buell, I like the idea very much. I think that's good. I think when you speak, you should change your tone a little bit so it's not so monotone, and you could get a little more interest from your audience. Thank you, Cadet Reed. I'll take that into consideration next time. Cadet Buell, I liked your idea, and everything, but I believe that the students should have more time to
Thank you for the area that I don't think I have concerns. Round of applause. Um, charge the school for a day it would definitely be the eligibility for seniors to still continue to have APT hour if they only have five classes or less because if you guys don't know there is a situation going on where if you are a senior you do not have APT if you have five classes or less because for some reason it says you don't count as a full student so they take away APT hour and then during that time you go to the roof street and all that kind of stuff and uh, they tell you about career options and everything and just weird stuff so is there anyone a senior in there do you have a full class period? No. How many classes do you have? Six. All right, then you're fine. But if you are a senior, like I said, all that stuff will happen and all that. So if you are a junior, sophomore, freshman, I do advise taking a full class period or a full hour or a full schedule, I mean, or having at least six hours because you do get APT taken away from you. It doesn't really affect me because I have a full schedule, but I do have a lot of friends that are seniors, so they do have a lot of problem with it. And the reason why I, I say that seniors should be still is because APT is a very helpful hour for everybody to get all their stuff done. All their stuff done and all that kind of stuff. And um, like I said, uh, because since seniors, they're, it's their last year, and they're kind of like, if they fail a class, they're kind of like screwed over and they can't really do anything unless they do a super senior and make up the class online. So, it kind of like puts you in the dirt and all that kind of stuff, and you need to really, really work hard, which I know that's understandable since you're almost an adult and all that, but having that extra hour, it can help you with tests, you can go study, you can finish up with some homework, get some help from somebody or anything. So, in conclusion, I do believe everybody should have APT and seniors should be eligible to have it still, even if they do have five class periods or less. So, yeah, any questions? Any questions? No? Okay. Well, that is definitely my topic. And um, do anyone disagree? Agree? Disagree? Huh? Um, another reason why I say they should have APT still is because, like I said, you can get a lot of homework done. And then during that time, they can also do research for jobs or anything like that or anything. Basically, have a free time. Even if they don't have work, they still got that extra hour to have. And so, that's all I got. Yeah, 30 seconds. All right, Question. next year for us, since I'm a junior, uh, because we have to run five classes, will we get APT in those five classes, or do you know on that? If you have five classes or less, you don't get APT Play. at all. I don't think they'll even let you have four classes. What was that? Next year, I don't think they're letting you have four classes as a senior. I don't know that. So, what were you going to say? Nothing. Huh? I'm done. Nope, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. <laughs> right. Any more questions, any comments, concerns, statements, <laughs> da da da? Thank you, good. Yeah! All right, here we go. Volunteers? Any? Any? No? Cadet Johnson, I think your speech was. I think your speech was very well. I think your speech was very well put together and organized. It was probably the best one that we that I think we've heard so far. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it um I really don't have anything that I think was wrong with it. I think it was very well put together. No, thank you for that. What were you gonna say, Luke? Huh? Okay, any more? Cadet Johnston, I really liked your um, your oh gosh, your, I liked your speech, but you kind of ran out of information and you kind of like lost your topic, and you did use a little bit of filler, but you could have come up with like more ideas. Okay. But, yeah. Thank you, Cadet. I'll take that consideration. I appreciate it. More. 
Yeah, what's up? Cadet Johnson, I really enjoyed your speech. It's very informative. But the like and um was yeah, I've ran out of topics. Not so severe, bad. but it was getting close to but severe. Yeah. So <laughs> just gonna say that. And that's all I have to say about them. It was very good. All right, I'm done. Round of Uh, you, have, thing is, you have five seconds. Okay. Is that Simpson? Right, his name's Simpson, right? Yeah. Constructive criticism is something for someone to build on, not just complimenting them. Right. So next time, give someone a chance to help him build on something. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm Cadet Knight. Um, I'll be talking about why motocross is one of the most fit sports in the world and why most people don't believe that. Motocross is pretty much tests you on physically fit and mentally fit while you're doing both at the same time. While you're on the track, you have to manhandle a 450 pound bike with an engine going about 25 miles an hour all the way up to 60 miles an hour while going over whoops that are could be two feet high over to six feet high. Over the jumps to whipping it so you get shorter distance and landing faster so you can take off faster than the person right behind you or right next to you or you can pass the person in front of you or you can turn sharper while controlling a 450 pound bike going 45 miles an hour while trying to pass someone that's trying to pass you. There's a lot of crashes in motocross and if you crash it Really painful, I know, I've done it. Um, there's a professional rider called, named Chad Reed. He tried to whip over the finish line jump, but his bike slipped from underneath, underneath him. He flew about 50 feet in the air going 45 miles an hour, somewhere around there. Landed straight on his back, got right back up, checked himself if it was, if it was okay, got back on his bike and continued on and actually won the race. Um, to me, that actually makes you fit and strong and you know how to handle yourself. Not only was that just adrenaline going through his body telling him to get back up, but you also have a mental mental part telling you to get back up. You need to win this race. Um, so over the whoops and jumps and turns and everything, you're using almost every single muscle you got in your body to manhandle this bike that's pretty much trying to kill you um, and to win a motocross race is actually really makes you really happy and everything but what people are trying to do these days is win the whole championship when every single race there is like Ryan Villapoto he's god at the god at the sport um, but just to win the championship not only you get all this money you can win over a million dollars in just one championship. You also get all the pride and the props from every single person there is that watches and respects the sport. And most people don't believe it because everybody thinks, oh, you sit on a bike, you twist the throttle and let the bike you do all the work. No. You actually use every single mu muscle on your body. You, your endurance is really well. Um, It's a question, not criticism. Or whatever. <laughs> um, do you like Ryan Dungey? I do, but once he, when he got onto KTM, I don't know. I mean, I like KTM, but I didn't think KTM needed Dungey. But yeah, he's freaking amazing. <laughs> and criticism. <laughs> Thanks, Cadet Barrios. I'll take any consideration of that. Johnson.
sit back. I liked your speech that you gave and I thought you were very informational about it. Uh, like she said, get more detailed about motocross and all that kind of stuff. Also, get more enthusiastic about it. Like, I know you like motocross a lot, but you're just standing on you Yeah, like that. Just like, I'm jumping around and all that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> Come on, guys. Anybody else? change school days to four days a week instead of five days. Um, I think we should go longer during the day, maybe just an hour longer. Um, and the day we have off makes up for the long days. Um, kids have parents that are out of town, and when they go and they want to see them, they can have longer to spend with their parents or their relatives that live out of town. Um, it'll give kids a better weekend because as, you know, as soon as Friday hits, it seems like Sunday is right around the corner and the weekend's gone. Um, they'll look, kids will look forward to the week because it's so short and the weekend will come just way faster than if it was a five-day week. And Um, Would we have an extra period or longer periods? Uh, just longer periods. Hour periods, or like an hour extra period, maybe, just to, just so that you get Friday work, kind of like education. Like you can take, tests are usually made on Fridays, and so like Thursdays, you can take the test because you've had just the same amount of time during the week to study and prepare for the test. Any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I know a lot of us do sports and clubs. When would we be able to do that if we had longer school days during the week? That's a good point. You can. <laughs> 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 well, if you um, like Fridays, if we have Fridays off, um, and you're dedicated to this sport and you don't need a longer weekend, you can always like. Fridays, the sports could be like kind of dedicated to like maybe all day Friday. Not all day, but most of the day. Uh. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, one um, but that was a good point. Six. And I see that as a woman. Any more questions or comments or statements? Um, in conclusion, I think that four days would be better because it would give kids the right amount of time on weekends to visit their relatives and visit their family in different parts of the state or a different. But yes. you're gonna, I have a question. She's right in the middle of her conclusion. Before you go down <laughs> and I think it would uh, have students look forward to the week because it goes by so fast. And it would just give students a better weekend because, because they have so much time and it won't go by as fast. I'm just jumping. Am I done? Alright, you're done. Okay. Constructive criticism. Anybody? I'm going to start picking people in three. Okay. Could have more. I think your speech was good, but you could have had more of, like, about it, like, about the clubs and sports thing. You could have, like, done more about that, but other than that, I thought it was really good. Thank you. Thine. Thanks, Cadet Thine. I appreciate your constructive, constructive criticism. And I'll take it to <laughs> Lock it up. Oh, for my next speech. Yes. Alright, uh, Cadet, um, more. uh, thought your speech was really good, but you said, um, so don't say um so much next time, and it'll be good to get speech. Thank you, Cadet Hoffman. I'll take that into consideration for my next speech. One more. You will give good.
consideration. You have more. I thought your speech was uh, well put together, but um, how much longer would it take? Um, I'm thinking like just an hour added on to like the entire day period. Like um, every hour has an extra you know, six, five, or six, like ten minutes maybe. But thank you, Dad. Fuel. Fuel. We'll take that into consideration for next time. Round of applause. Rain. Rain. You're going to get up here or are you going to stare at me for the entire time? I was walking up here. No, you are. You are here. Whenever you're ready. Okay, so I'm Cadet Rains, and my topic is what I would change about the school if I could change something. And I would change, like, the ability to be able to do projects instead of, like, just, like, question and answer stuff. So, because some people learn better with, like, doing projects, like, hands-on activities, and other people don't learn, learn quite as well. Like they're better at like simple question and answer stuff. So they would always have the option to like like do homework like that, but I think they should always give the opportunity for other people to do projects and stuff like like sculptures and like just like homework like that and also like class activities to like um build their education. So like like in science, you usually do like, actually like a, uh, activities and stuff like a, I'm trying to remember the word, uh, experiment, no, uh, labs, yeah, they do like labs and stuff, and I think <laughs> that math and like English should do activities like that. Like I know some classes already do that, but I think that option should be available to everybody the same as that option should be available the option of doing question and answer stuff should be available for the students that learn better like that. Um, how would you do a lab in math? <laughs> like, um, like, not necessarily a lab, but like, um, like last year in my math class, we did like math bingo where she'd like put an answer and we'd have bingo cards and like we'd put the bingo chip on the correct answer and then, like, stuff like that. Any more questions? So are you saying, instead of just doing how the teacher teaches, like, one system only, like, cater to more people how they were, like, aesthetically or visually, or how yeah. that is? Okay. Like, like, and, like, how you take that into the real world and stuff, instead of just, like, simple question and answer stuff. So, in conclusion, I think... Our classes should do more hands-on activities instead of just question and answer stuff. But that option will always be available to everybody. And <laughs> um, uh, that would be cool for some people. And everyone would get the option to do what they wanted to do. And I'm done. <laughs> All right. Excuse me, but what's the last one? You're already given constructive oh, criticism. Oh, No. Uh, Sorry. Smith, I guess. Um, your speech was good, and I liked your idea, but you said a like far too often. Nice. <laughs> 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 <Okay, it was laughs> Um, I think if you said like less and elaborated more on what you wanted instead of saying and stuff, it would make a far better speech. Thank you for your constructive criticism, Cadet um, Smith. I will take that into consideration. Any more volunteers? <clears throat> Cadet Reigns, you have a very valid point. As many of us learn in many different styles, that's very good but you didn't have like, I guess, details on how 
that would work as far as different classes work, lab work that are sciences and the math stuff like that. Thank you, Cadet Desai, for your constructive criticism. I will take that into consideration. That's good. Need one more. Okay, Cadet Knight, give constructive criticism. Cadet Reigns, is it? I like your point. Um, I like how you thought of this idea and thought it would work, but like he said, try to come up with a valid point on how it would work and how it would keep on working if everybody did what they're supposed to do. Thank you, Cadet Knight, for the constructive criticism. We'll take that into consideration. Okay. Cadet Simpson. Do you have your topic? Well, Barrios took my original topic, so um, we, I've been thinking about one in my head for the past few days. Okay, go with that. Okay, my topic, uh, before I say that, I would like to start off with asking everybody a question. Who in here has an Xbox? <laughs> All right. Decent amount of people. Who in here has a PlayStation 3? <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to explain to you why I think the PS3 is better than the Xbox. Hey, listen up. Stop talking. I'm partially a little biased to this because I've always been a PlayStation person at heart. But my first reason I would like to address is the internet and online capabilities that the both systems have. First off, for Xbox, you need to pay to have the internet put on it. So not only do you need to pay for internet at your house, you need to pay for an account for Microsoft, and you need to pay for internet on your Xbox. That's a lot, considering. With the PS3, you just need to punch in the WPA or code for whatever type of server that you have at your house for local internet dial-up or whatever, and that's it, and you can be online. Now, a problem with the PlayStation 3 is that their network bogs down quite often, but they can fix that within a few days. Microsoft, I'm pretty sure it never goes down, but your accounts can always get hacked. That's hap that happens a lot. Second point is the quality of graphics. That, I think, would be a very hard argument to address. I would have to say that they're both relatively evenly matched. Then there's the game selection. Xbox focuses, especially with the Kinect now, Xbox focuses more on games like Just Dance and, um, what was the other thing? It was uh, an outdoors adventure game. They tried to turn the Xbox into a Wii. If you wanted motion sensing games like that, you could go for a Wii, because that's the original motion, motion sensor gaming console. The PlayStation 3 also has that. You know what? I, I, I haven't put out too much thought into this. Yes, question. <laughs> PS3 has actually is closer to the Wii because it has the actual like controllers. It does have the wand things with the ball sensors over there. there again. I'm sorry. The PS3 move. Does the PS3 move? It's what. <laughs> the PS3 move. <laughs> I didn't know that. Thank you for the information. Did you have a question? No, I was just going to say, or isn't it that? Um, X PS3 controllers are easier to memorize than an Xbox controller? Yes. But you can mod the Xbox controllers to cheat in games like Black Ops. Yes? You were saying on Xbox that they can hack into your accounts, mm -hmm. but if you don't remember, PS3 had his whole account hacked into, and it took three no. weeks. Sony was hacked. <laughs> Sony, was <laughs> Sony, the Sony company itself, was, was hacked. hacked. Not Which Microsoft gave them the ability to take control of everything for a few weeks, but they fixed that. Okay, now we need constructive criticism. 
please. Wait, is he done? Is yes, he I, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was shorter than I thought it would be. Yes, Cadet Rossman. That's it. Well, okay. Thank you with your best shot. I very much appreciate your speech. <laughs> Thank you. And I believe that it was pretty well informed. But it also seemed that you did not have very many statistics to back up your information. I did not. I know that. <laughs> So it, might be, it might be more helpful to have more information regarding the topic that you are addressing. Next okay. right. uh, thank you for the criticism, Cadet. I will take that into consideration and try to make sure my facts aren't like Swiss cheese. Oh, Any more constructive criticism? Stop else? talking. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, Gray shirt. Nike shirt. What? Are you giving constructive? Not today. Question or oh, you did. talk. I did. Okay. Uh, okay, Simpson. Um, your speech was pretty good. Uh, I like the topic, but um, you didn't kind of stand what side you were clear on, like PS3 or Xbox. You were kind of like in the middle and biased. Okay. Okay. Well, you said a lot of good things about the Xbox. I was confused. I'm sorry. But I'll make my defining line more clear within my next speech. Thank you for the constructive criticism, Todd. One more. Volunteers. Is there anything you would like to say, Hoffman? No, I'm ready to make it. Tabby, give constructive criticism. Um, I just thought that you could have added more to it. I understand that. Thank you for the constructive criticism. I'll take that into consideration for my next speech. We're going in order alphabetically. What? We're going in alphabetically. Sorry. Okay. I'm Cadet down. Spangler, and my topic today would be about how they should, uh, high school should teach us more about real life things, such as like how to, like this class teaches how to teaches us how to write a resume and stuff like that, but. Other stuff like such as like writing checks and uh, like other jobs that you should that you should be able to have, but certain jobs don't teach you. Like I read something the other day. It's stated like five things. It said um, what I didn't learn in high school, like writing checks, how to acquire a job, and a few other things along the same line. But thank God I know the Pythagorean theorem. So, and I said, well, that's pretty true. But also, it could, high school should be able to uh, teach us like real life things, such as like self defense and our rights, such as like, like as the police officer told us the other week. Taxes. Taxes. Ta taxes, yes. Another, uh, I don't really know. Keep talking. Just keep talking. <laughs> keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. Yeah. You're not talking. I know. <laughs> All right. Other things would be like what you could do to help out the government, such as, or uh, things that would uh, help out, such as like. The debt, we need to be more informed on that, what possibly could be done to reverse that or begin to, which is practically impossible. All right, yes. Would you be for us having a class teaching us about our government system? Because a lot of kids, especially now, are uninformed of how the chain of politicians and things work. Yes, that, that would, be, that would good to, be good to help out with certain things like that, yes. All right. We have one of those classes called government. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. I did not know that then. <laughs> All right. In conclusion, thank you. In conclusion, I think that high school should teach us more about how real life things should be done and how to acquire things. And, uh, So, 
and other other words. <laughs> <laughs> Questions. Constructive criticism. Constructive criticism. I can't talk. <laughs> yes. Um. You were saying. No. I'm no, you've already given criticism. Okay. No. If it's a question, uh, no criticism. Any criticism. <laughs> um. Fine. I'm gonna start picking people more. Can you please give constructive criticism? Cadet Spangler. Um. I think you had a good point. I think that we need to be more informed about what's going to happen when we are at high school. But I don't, you weren't very well informed about any of the topics you brought up at all. Um, I think you just need to inform yourself and you have a good right, Thank you. I want to take that into consideration for my next speech. You need more consent. Fine. Any volunteers? No? Ben Spangler, I like what you said about that they should give us other classes as in self-defense or something, but you did look at the ground quite a bit. So, thank you, Cadet Ben I would take that into consideration. Any more volunteers? Reigns, could you please give constructive criticism? Cadet Spangler, your ideas were good. And I think it's true that they don't teach us what's going to happen in the real world as much as we need. But I feel you came unprepared, like you weren't going to give your speech today. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Get that sign. Whenever you're ready. Um, I'm Cadet Thun, and I'm, my topic is about why wrestling is the best sport on earth. <laughs> um, I think that it is the best sport because you pretty much get to go out on the mat, you versus your opponent, and you just kill them. <laughs> Come on, guys. Okay. <laughs> and it's just all your skill level. You don't depend on your team for anything. And it's just all you, I guess, for everything. And um, it's just really fun because, like I said, <laughs> you get to just nice. wrestle people a lot. And you just, so you don't receive tired. anything from your team? Well, Nothing. from your team, I guess they awesome. help you out. And at practice, you pretty much just... Go with them, and it gets you in shape a lot because you run a lot. And um, <coughs> yeah, and then your team just like supports you at meets and stuff. It's a really good sport. <laughs> Any questions? <coughs> um, Could you explain more about wrestling? Yeah, what you uh, wrestling is like you and the opponent, and then you have to like pin the guy, or beat them by points, and to po get points you can get a takedown, which is you'll take them to the mat and take control of them. Nice. What's your favorite wrestling technique? My favorite wrestling move would be the fireman's carry, and you pretty much just flip them over your shoulders and slam them to the mat. But Okay. You can't really like slam people. You have to hit a knee first. Like you can slam them, but you have to hit your knee to the mat before you, they hit. Um, Tom. You have one oh. Chris. Um. So you said there's like not a lot of teamwork, but I mean I don't know, but isn't there a certain wrestling type of meet that you? Well, you there's a duel. Team? You can. There's open meets, which would be like you just wait until they call you and they go up by weight class. And then there's a duel, which your team sits on one side of the mat and then the other team, and then you just like go up by weight class and everyone watches and basically do that. And then, um, yeah. So if you win a trophy, 
Does the school win the trophy, or do you win the trophy? When you win a dual meet, the school would win the trophy. <coughs> but in a open meet, if you win the match, you would get a medal. Constructive <laughs> criticism. Constructive criticism, Chris. Oh, uh, I have a question. Uh, don't you wrestle people your size? Well, yeah, you what? Wrestle people your weight class. You have to make weight. Okay, constructive criticism. That's it. Yeah, you can go. Uh, well, no, Spangler, go first. That fine. I thought you had a good point, but if you could uh, drag it out, like saying what you do in meets and stuff, and who you would qualify Gee, against cool. thank in you the for weight your, classes. Thank you for your constructive criticism. You have yes. constructive criticism? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Fine. I thought you had some good points. I agree with you. It's the best sport in the world. Um, uh, but I feel that, same as Cadet Spangler, you weren't prepared to s say your speech today. Yeah, not and I feel like you like weren't like thorough on your points as much as you should have been. Thank you, Cadet Reigns. I'll take that into consideration. Awesome. Okay, Cadet, fine. I feel like you had an amazing topic, but you could have went out there and talked forever. Like you, I mean, you could have said more things about like what type of weight class, you, what you do, yeah. what moves, what you do to condition, what, how you cut weight, why you do cut weight, and things like that. So Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys.